Hey, worked on the first try. Wow, that's a good one. Hey, everybody. So uh, we've got kittens out for their exploration time, and because oh, because Blue Jean and uh, and Kulat's mom is at the vet today getting her spay. Both the moms are at the vet today getting their spay. I thought I'd let them in here for just a minute. They both wanted to come in and play with the kittens, but now I think everybody's having second thoughts. Um, We'll see. I, you know, it, the, I can tell that the little kittens, they're, they're a little tense about the whole thing. You see that jump from Fern, because Fern's just a little uh, high strung at the moment. And so are the other kids. Uh, so I'm just going to give it a few minutes, you know, give them a chance to sort of get used to each other a little bit. And then I'll probably invite the big kids to leave. Blue Jean's being kind of polite, though. That was a, a cute little head bop without too much consequence. Fern's the one that's being rude by not backing off. There's uh, Blue Jean and Kulat together. Oh, Maggie wants to go out, but the door's locked. Why don't we open it for her? Maggie, you want me to open that door for you? Here. Come here, Mags. Maggie. Maggie. Come here, let's open the door. It snowed, so I've got to go and kind of run the snow blower today. You can see we've got lots of snow out there right now. And nobody's been out in it yet, so there's no paw prints. I think Maggie's about to change that, though. You want to go out now? I know you just wanted to go out there. It's open. It's open now. You know how to work it. Oh, she's so funny. Oh, my gosh. Did you see her pull it open? That's her trick for getting in the microchip door. And now she's like, well, if this one won't open, I'll pull it open just like the microchip door. Maggie, it's not a microchip door. It's unlocked. Come here. Come here. You can go right out. She is just a little too smart. Okay, there we go. Speaking of which, she's gotten so good now at opening the microchip door upstairs that she it doesn't slow her down at all anymore. She just goes right up to it, opens it, goes in, and eats all of Smokey's food that she wants. She's got a very thick uh, winter coat, so she's probably fine out there as long as she wants to be. Oh, I heard a hiss. That was probably Kulat. Kulat's not super fond of kittens yet, but we've got to work on that because... Little Pebble's going to be her sister. Of course, probably will sort itself out as they get a little closer in age and size. Oh, hi, Maggie. You came right back in. So, yeah, uh, the only real news today is, uh, as I mentioned, both of our mom cats, Taylor and Brooke, are both at the vet today for their surgeries, uh, for their spays. And uh, I'm sure they're gonna do just fine. Also, um, Taylor is having a tooth out. Well, actually the tooth itself is already mostly gone, I think. She's just having the roots out so that they don't uh, cause any trouble for her later down the line. And yes, you guys know this is Brooke's third time that we're trying to get her spayed because she is just uh, really good at avoiding it. And today her technique was uh, to save up a giant stinky poop and let it go as soon as we got in the car. Uh, but that wasn't enough to save her today. So we just got to keep on going. I had to drive all the way to the vet though and boy did it smell bad. So they'll be fine and I'll probably end up picking them up around 3.30 this afternoon. Hi, Moss Man. Hi, Moss. Whoa, what was that? Moss and Thistle. Another hiss. That's got to be Kulat. Okay, Kulat, why don't we send you out? We'll do this again when we can observe a little better. So I don't want you to start off on the wrong foot with your sister. So come on, you get to go back over the fence for now. I know, I know. You'll be okay. I'm just going to, oh, a little growl even. Okay, okay. You're going to have to jump from there. Oh, oh, got it. Okay, good. 
Good, good. Sorry about that, Kulad. I know you're fine with Ari and everybody else. You're going to be okay. I'm going to come out there, too, in just a minute. I got all the housework to get done still. Plus, I got to, like I said, I got to run the snowblower. I have a lot on my schedule for today, so I should probably get to it pretty quickly. We'll make this a short one. Um, we'll just do a couple more minutes of these kids. Where did Blue go? Oh, there she is. Okay, there's Blue Jean is under the Christmas tree, and now... Thistle's under the Christmas tree. I think Blue Jean is being a little friendlier. Oh, Blue Jean's gonna run and attack. Who's in there? There's Pebble in there. Blue Jean is definitely thinking that's interesting. Look at that. Uh, so I saw the question, are any of the tiny plants being adopted together from Betty Boop? Uh, no, none of the plants are. None of the older kids are getting adopted. Wait, no, that's plants, pants. Okay, see, those names are too clever by far. It just makes it confusing for me. So the tiny pants are the older kids. Uh, that's uh, Blue Jean, who is up there on the, the, the uh, fireplace thing. And... Uh, and then Kulat, who we just threw out, and then her mom, Taylor. The, none of those three are being adopted together. They're all going individually. Uh, then the smaller group are the plants, which are, uh, that's Fern right back there, and this is Thistle right here, and then there's the other boy, Moss, who is right under the Christmas tree. There's Moss. Those th all three of them are being adopted together. All three of the boys are going together. So that's pretty cool. We really, really, really like that. Not only are they being adopted together, but they're being adopted together by Callie Moe and Sir Geek, who are uh, longtime Kitten Academy, uh, I guess, supporters. Um, and they also helped arrange um, the K.A. Khan parts of it. And uh, they've just been really involved for a long time. So we are super thrilled to see uh, these kittens being adopted by them, all three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hang on, buddy. All right, Blue Jean, I heard that hissing, so. We're gonna send you over too, there you go. You can play with your sister out there. Uh, so all three of the boys are getting adopted together and then as you probably heard me kind of mention earlier, uh, Pebble here, the girl in the younger group, is going to be adopted with Kulat, or is adopted with Kulat. They're already approved. And so we've been slowly trying to get them to uh, be friends together. And it just takes, you know, you just keep reintroducing and reintroducing and reintroducing, and they're eventually going to figure it out. This little game, Thistle's decided to walk away from it, but uh, Pebble's like, that's fine, I can just play all by myself, I don't need you. Thistle has better things to do. Pebble's been slowly getting darker and darker. She's still got a lot of gray around her head, uh, but I think that's probably going to go away too, and she'll probably end up being all black, except for the little white spots on her chest. That's my guess. All right, there's our thistle. There's moss and fern. Everybody's having fun. I got to get to cleaning up the house. Uh, somebody last night, and uh, I'm not going to say who, went into Smokey's office and ate all of Smokey's food, all of it, and then went all around the house and vomited it everywhere around the house, and just everywhere. Like in almost every room, there's some. Uh, so that's fun. I picked it up, but I still have to wash the spots on the carpet and the floor where it was. I mean, theoretically, it could have been Smokey that did that, but I don't think so. I think we all know who it was. <laughs> eh, 
Hey, Pebble, you decided to come out of the space station, huh? Okay, hi. Is Custard in there eating? Oh, he is. Wow. Yeah, you could probably see that on the regular live stream. The Kitten Academy live stream has cameras that are on in here and in the other room. And by the way, if you want to keep watching after we're done here, you can just tune into the regular Kitten Academy live stream. You can watch these guys all day long. Now, normally I would stop Custard from eating, um, but it's the same food that he's got out in the kitchen that they've got in here now. So it's really no harm. He could be doing this in the kitchen if he wanted to. He just, I guess, prefers to do it in here. I'm not going to complain about that. So uh, as I mentioned, if you want to keep watching him and uh, watching everybody else, there's uh, we got cameras everywhere in here. There's a little camera right there, there's a camera over there. Oh, there's no camera up there. That one broke. i got to put a replacement in there. There is one up here, though. And uh, obviously there's one that's right here that people are using to watch from the floor. And there's one that's over there that's on right now, I think. So uh, all you have to do if you want to tune into those cameras is look for the regular Kitten Academy live stream right here on YouTube. And if you want to apply to adopt the two mom cats that are out getting their surgery today, they will theoretically be ready to go home with somebody in about two weeks, um, almost two weeks. That's how long it takes for us to go and get their sutures out and make sure that they're good. So it's a good time to apply. And uh, you can do that on our website, which is kitten.academy. You can apply to adopt uh, the cats and kittens there. And I hope you do because Taylor and Brooke are wonderful cats in their own ways. Uh, they're both very sweet about people, and Taylor's been just sweet about cats, too. She takes good care of even the kittens that aren't hers. She wants to come in and hang out with Pebbles and stuff, and she's been very good to them. Uh, Brooke, Brooke takes a little more work to get to hang out with other cats, but she's still very, very sweet on her people and beautiful. They're both so pretty. So, yeah, uh, you guys know who I'm talking about. Uh, obviously, we can't see them because they're at the vet right now, but... All the applications are on the Kitten Academy website, kitten.academy. And uh, yeah, hey, I guess that's about it. So um, thanks for tuning in. Like I said, look for the Kitten Academy live stream. You want to keep watching, that's a way to do it. These guys are probably going to be out here playing for a while while I'm cleaning the house. And that's it. Let's, uh, let's fade to a painting of custard because we can, because why not? Custard, giant custard.